Going monkey like Speedos Going monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew Going monkey, very simple man With big, warm, fuzzy, secret heart Going monkey like you Going monkey like you Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Meteor Raptor, and welcome back to another episode of the Meteor Raptor Reaction and Review. I'm noticing the lights kind of off. I'm gonna have to open those blinds over there. Uh, you guys got good news and bad news. Good news, I'm back with another episode. Bad news, I'm running out of movies to review. Got this one, and then I got some movies that I saw in theaters, and I'm gonna have to call up an old friend. Well, I don't know if I'd call him a friend. I mean. We haven't really been on good terms. Well, we've never been on good terms, and last time I saw him was at the lab, and he... I saved his ass, but he told me if he ever saw me again, he'd put a bullet through my eyes, and... Uh, I really don't like contacting him, because he's really kind of busy, and I think he might be a mass murderer for hire. Uh, look, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Today, let's focus on today's issue. The 2010 monster movie, Piranha. Yeah, I've never seen this movie. And you know what this has? Pop-up! This is actually really cool. And this has an image of a guy with a mo boat motor saying, Chew on this! And there's an eye, a finger, a hand, a beer bottle, and a bikini. And a bunch of piranhas. A couple beer bottles, actually. So, what can I tell you about this movie? I know it's a remake of a classic Roger Corman movie I also haven't seen, even though I thought I had the Blu-ray at one point. Like, I remember buying it for $2, and I think I lost it somewhere. Whatever. Um, I've heard nothing but horrible things about this movie and its pseudo-sequel, Piranha 3 Double D. But... Video Hound, like this book, I these are the series I use for good movie advice, because it has over 29,000 movies in it. It gave it two bones out of four, which essentially, according to Video Hound, means may be perfectly delightful for certain tastes, a waste of time for others, usually uninspired genre flicks. So, what that means is I could either watch, I could watch Piranha, and it could be an amazing bad movie. In fact, that's kind of what I think it might be. But then when I look at the back, it says, C, sex, and blood. Now, two of those things I really enjoy in movies. The other one, not as much. And I'll leave it up to you in the comments to try and figure it out. Now, I'm going to read to you what the, what the uh, quotes say. Entertainment Weekly. It's Jaws gone wild. Rolling Stone. Yeah, Rolling Stone. Think Jersey Shore with underwater cannibalism. I can't think of anything with that, because it's a show I hate and a very specific fetish. What the hell were you thinking when you wrote that? And then, four stars packs more punch than saw. And news of the world. No idea who that is. And then a Hollywood reporter said, Un ban de sang, salument disavant. I don't speak French anymore. I hate speaking French, so no idea what that means. All I know is that this is probably going to be a horrible movie. But you know what, you guys? We're going to suffer through it together, because I'm not watching this alone. Although, technically, I am. Although, I feel like my friend is watching me right now, which is kind of creepy, because... <sighs> Unless I say about him for now, the better. Anyhow, you guys. So, let's say we all kick back, relax, and check out Piranha. So you want to know it's something I never thought I'd be when I was watching a movie called Piranha? Bored. Yeah, I am really bored. Even all the stuff they're trying to do with like the girls, like these two girls are motorboating each other right now. That should at least be entertaining in a weird way, but it's not. You know why? Because it's a boring movie. I don't care about any of these characters. And I'm here for the piranhas, not for the characters. So why are we wasting our time on these pointless characters we know are going to die? Like, it's just, it's pointless. Okay, so this scene, I know why this movie rated R. Um, all right.
Wow, I hate this guy even more now. You know, you guys, I'm really bored. Like, I am... Okay, so... Good news, bad news sort of situation. Bad news, it's been about half an hour and we've seen, like, two more people get eaten by piranhas. That's also bad news, actually. Bad news is also... We're now, uh... We're just having women put their literal butts up against the camera now. Uh, more bad news, the people I all hate are still alive and aren't dead yet. Um, this movie is really boring. I can't wait for it to end. I really wish I hadn't agreed to- I really wish I hadn't wa put this movie on. But the good news is, um, I think this movie is finally about to get very interesting. You know why? They're telling everyone to go back to the beach during the giant rave. That can only mean one thing. They're not gonna listen, and the piranhas are gonna eat everyone. Alright, everyone's jumping in the water. Please, kill them. I'm not leaving until I get some good piranha carnage. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. We're back with these dweebs. Yes, kill, kill them all, kill them all. Come on, the fish are right there, we just saw them. Start eating people. This is what you do. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. They're literally swimming around and they're not, <gasps> yes. Quit teasing me and just kill them. They're gonna go up for a butt? Nope. Maybe they are. Yep. Haha! <laughs> Finally! Finally! Thank you! Make it slow! Kill them all, please! I waited an hour for this! And it looks horrible! It's about what I expected. It's on par with a like a sci-fi channel original movie. Can't tell if that's their work stuff upstairs or the movie. Nope, it's upstairs. Anyhow, this is what I've been waiting over an hour for. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Def definitely worth it. That is a lot of, like, ketchup or fake blood they're using. And I can respect it. There's a lot of CG blood, which looks hideous, but when they do use the practical stuff, it actually looks pretty good. So I guess that's a positive. That just looks brutal, man. Like, half of your back is missing. Okay, they just ripped out both her eyes. Not bad. <laughs> Irony, it's called dying to get wet is what this party's called. <laughs> Irony. Oh, you guys are so stupid. Move back! These idiots literally all just fell back into the water. Okay, so that scene, that was pretty much like the, uh, BFG scene from the Doom movie. That pretty much just made up for the past hour I had to sit through a pointlessness. Also, watching Todd get violently ripped to shreds after literally ripping, ripping a woman's face off with his boat motor, God, I hate that guy, was super entertaining, and frankly, I'm happy that he's dead. Now I just have to wait for... Why is everyone in this movie a complete and total idiot? Just asking. 
whatever. <laughs> yes! Yes! You know what? I never thought I'd laugh or be this happy about piranhas eating a man's crotch. But this guy deserved it. He's still alive, that sucks, but I know he's not gonna make it. Like, they've literally ripped all the meat off his legs, down to his bones, like everything. So... Yeah, I'm just looking forward to when this all happens, to when he finally dies. This guy did not deserve the life he had. He deserves this painful, violent death. And that's some pretty horrible CG right there. Oh! oh yeah! Not cool, not cool. We just saw his dick get eaten. And then burp back up, that's not cool. Not cool, guys. Why is this movie suddenly amazing? He's literally like mowing them down with a boat motor, like the chew on this. Like this, He's, there's this scene right now. It is as amazingly stupid and cheesy as you would expect. Why is it that this movie was horrible for over an hour? and then suddenly got really so bad it's good entertaining. Like, what the heck? Hey, is he gonna... Aw, he died. The black dude oh, was awesome, he should have lived. Why does the black guy always die in horror movies? Well... That was Piranha, and that kind of sucked. Let's turn this off. Okay. Hang on, now the movie's over, I think I can turn this off as well. So, I just sat through Piranha. That was a huge waste of my time. I'm kind of showing my hand early, but you know what? That movie really did suck. So I'm going to explain why, though. I actually have reasons. One big reason why it didn't work is that it's super frickin' boring. Alright? It takes about an hour before the huge piranha swarm happens. And then after that, there's only there's about half an hour left. About 15 to 25 minutes of that is more pointless, boring human stuff, like the first hour, which we never cared about. And then we have, you know, the few minutes of the awesome piranha stuff. So, yeah, first off, I think you see what the big problem there is. They didn't give us enough of what the movie was promising, you know, piranhas. That's what made the movie, that was what the entertaining parts were. The most entertaining scenes is when the piranhas were completely massacring everyone at the party, which was awesome. And the chew on this motherfucker scene, which is truly, it's cheesy, it's over the top. But you know what? It's so much fun. It's like, like, like I said, it's like the BFG scene, no, not BFG, the first person shooter scene in the Doom movie. It's finally getting it right for just a few moments. Now, let's talk about the human stuff. I hated every single character. None of them were likable, none of them were entertaining, none of them had any personality beyond what was an incredibly offensive stereotype or an incredibly rejected and cliched stereotype. I didn't care about any of them, and really, when they all ended up, most of them ended up dying, I was happy. That's the long, that's the short version of it. We have the sheriff, we have the sheriff's son, we have the two kids who are annoying, who don't do what they're told, and then they ultimately go out get stranded. We have a porn director who really just cares for doing cocaine and making porn. We have the bullies, we have the arrogant asshole who accidentally kills a bunch of people before getting torn to shreds. Really good scene, by the way. We also have the porn stars who actually are nice, although I've never really met a porn star in my life, so I'm not sure if that's how accurate that is, and really, that's kind of disturbing you talking about it. Anyhow, um, yeah, we don't have characters with good depth, backstory, personality. In fact, none of these characters have any personality. Alright, 
I've seen like sci-fi channel movies, like, even in even in Sharknado. Okay, Nora, the side character, she has a reason why she doesn't like sharks. Granted, it's a very stupid one. It's one which makes no sense, but they at least actually, you know, tried and gave her something. In this, it's just let's stare at boobs for literally an hour before the piranhas show up and kill everyone. Cause more than half this movie is literally boobs and asses. Is that a problem? Not really. It gets annoying after a while. Thing is, the reason why it annoys me so much and pisses me off as much as it did is the fact that the movie is literally called Piranha, not Boobs and Ass, which is a porno, probably. I don't know, I don't really watch porn that much. Or at all. Anyhow, it's not... <sighs> I hate when these movies, they give us a cool title or they give us a cool premise and they fail to deliver on it. 10 Cloverfield Lane, great example. Great premise, but then had nothing to do with freaking Cloverfield. Piranha. And in a, in a 89 minute movie, we have maybe 15 minutes of actual piranhas. That's being very generous. Yeah, all the characters, you know, like, like I said, they have no backstory, they have no personality, they have no depth. 99.9% .9 of them, even the main characters, are here to die, you know that, so you're not gonna try and make any connection with them. And it almost feels like the film director knew that, so, like, the writer knew that, so he didn't give them any. Actually, I'm curious, who wrote this? I know who directed it. Two people wrote this. I kind of feel like... Okay, here's what really upsets me. The two guys who wrote this could have made a great bad movie. They got the idea that we don't need reasons to care about these characters because they'll all be dead. That's actually a good film writing tactic. Especially in so bad it's good movies. Especially in sci-fi channel movies. Thing is, you can't have 90% of your movie be something which isn't in the title and has nothing to do with it unless you want to count the little bit of boob you see on the cover here. But that's something totally different. It's just... Do you guys get what I'm saying? Let me start again. The guys who wrote this... I feel like they could almost use the excuse, they know what it is. Or, or it knows what it is. It knows it's a bad movie. But you know what? You can use that excuse, I use it all the time, for film reviews. Like, I know it's a film review, so I don't have to try that hard. But you still have to try. You can't just walk away after saying, oh, we tried, and then be like, nope, I'm done, I did my work. You can't do that. You have to actually try the entire way through. Especially if you're trying to make a so bad it's good movie. In fact, you can't really make one, because those happen by accident. Unless you're trauma. <sighs> so, the characters are, not only are they flat and lifeless, a lot of them are obnoxious and annoying. Or just inconsiderate assholes. Um, really, I've... One second. I'm just checking something real quick. Anyhow. Um, not, so yeah, the characters are all boring and lifeless. There is literally no plot other than a sudden earthquake just happens to release dozens of piranhas. Because... Up yours. Uh, yeah, and we really, and that's it. And it's just, oh, let's just kind of make porn until piranhas show up and eat us. That's literally the entire plot. It's not entertaining, not even in a bad way. Uh, furthermore, the acting is some of the worst I've ever seen in any movie ever. Even in sci-fi channel movies, Ian Ziering, at least he does, try. None of the actors in this movie tried in the slightest. It was horrible. And the worst part is, you have to be with them for almost 90 minutes waiting for the damn piranhas to show up. So, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, you completely freaking ruined what could have been an awesome movie, like I totally called. Special effects? I'm not even going to waste my time on this, but it looks like what you would see in a Sci-Fi Channel original movie. They didn't care, and they didn't try. And how this thing got into theaters, I don't know. 
how I got a sequel, Piranha 3 Double D, which I might cover just because I want to see how bad a sequel could be. I don't know how that got made either. But the CG on the Piranhas, on the makeup, well, the makeup actually is pretty decent. We'll cover that in a second. The Piranhas look horrible. The disembodied body parts look horrible. There's a shot of a dick that's floating through the water and then gets eaten, chewed up, and spit back out by a piranha. It looks horrible, although you did cringe because... Not cool, dude. Not cool. It just... This whole movie is unpleasant. It's not entertaining. Aside from the scenes with piranhas, has horrible effects. But, but the, the practical effects actually look surprisingly good. They look painful. I'll give them that. They actually some of them look pretty good. Some of them look horrible. But I was surprised that at least some of them looked good. So yeah, music. 90% of the soundtrack is, like, rave and rap music, which... The rave stuff is great. The rap is that horrible, like, royalty-free, like, guys who think they can rap, and yet they really can't rap to save their lives, like, half the people I knew in grade 11 and 12, because, you know, they couldn't rap even though they thought they were cool people, and really they were the biggest idiots anyone had ever seen in the entire school. But that's another story for another day. Uh, it's pointless, it's boring, and really... Pff, the score itself isn't much better. Product placement, it's horrible in this movie. It's all over the place in the backgrounds. Mountain Dew, I can't believe, hoard itself out to this. Then again, after Puppy Monkey Baby, I think they would be desperate for money. So when it comes down to it, can I recommend Piranha? Uh, no. Not really. I'm giving it half a raptor claw out of four. And the thing is... When the when I'm calling it the beach massacre scene happened, this movie actually got kicked up to three raptor claws. It made up for the bad parts of the movie. Then the end, the rest of the movie happened, and it went down to again half a raptor claw. Originally, this movie started as raptor spit. For over an hour, it was raptor spit, and I had to give it at least half a claw for that awesome beach scene. I gave it three. Then, you know, after everything else happened, I had to take the rating down. If you really want to see the good scenes in this movie. Uh, go online. I'm pretty sure there's YouTube channels like Carnage Counts and stuff like that. You can probably just find, like, how many kills in Piranha 3D, and you'll get what you need. You'll get, like, just the beach scene, you'll get the boat scenes, you'll get all that, you'll get what you need. And, really, there's not that much that's worth watching this movie. Even, like, all, like, the naked chicks and all that... If you watch it with a group of more than, if you watch it with a, like more than one person, like if it's just you watching it, you'll be sitting there like, depending on how you think, well, you'll be like, oh, this is point pointless. But if you're with other people, you're going to be like, this is really awkward. So, I can't recommend it. The only reason I'm keeping it is because that freaking beach scene. And I paid two bucks for it. And I like the pop-up thing. I like the chew on this pop-up thing. That scene was actually... Again, that scene helped make the movie just a little bit more tolerable. But, yeah, uh, I've got the next couple of reviews lined up, and hopefully they're going to be better than this one. And until next time, you guys, this is the Meteor Raptor saying keep cool, and I will see all you dino dudes around. Later! I'm going to pee so badly all of a sudden.